Hello and welcome to this how to fix settings tutorial. Occasionally it happens that you can't open the settings menu or that the menu doesn't work properly. This is almost always the result of corrupted files. I'm going to show you a few methods to hopefully solve the issue once and for all. With the first method we are going to detect and fix possible corrupt files. To do this we use PowerShell. Click on the Windows search bar and search for PowerShell. Right click on it and select run as administrator. You get a prompt to confirm that this program can adjust certain settings. Click on yes to continue. Once PowerShell opens, you can enter the following command in it. SFC space forward slash scan now. So SFC is short for system file checker. This is the command that is going to detect and hopefully fix corrupt files. It can take a few minutes to complete. There are a few possible outcomes. The first one is that there were no problems found. The second one is that corrupt files were found and that Windows was able to fix them automatically. The last option is that there were corrupt files found, but Windows can't fix them automatically. So the second option would be ideal, and you can test if your settings are back to normal, but you might not be so lucky. When this is the case, we can use another command that tries to restore settings in Windows OS. Type DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health and hit enter. You can copy all of the commands in the video from the description. Same as with the previous command, this can take a few minutes to complete. Once completed, check if the Windows settings menu opens. It might also be that you need to restart your PC after this method. If it still doesn't work, continue with the next one. For the next method, we can stay in PowerShell. We are going to try reinstalling the settings menu. To do this, you have to enter the following command. It should be quite fast to complete, and you should receive a similar message. It's possible that this wasn't enough to get the Windows settings menu back to its old self. In this case, you can try a different command that will reinstall all of your Windows applications. In the early days, this could result in difficulties with the Windows Store, but I haven't heard anything about this in the last few years. To do this, you can enter the following command. The command can take a few minutes to complete. It's possible that you will receive a few red errors during this. Usually these are errors that are related to a certain package that isn't installed on your version, or it might be that the package is in use by a different program. You can ignore these. After this you can try your settings menu once more, but it might be that you need to restart your PC first. If it isn't working yet, continue with the next method. The next method is a bit of a long shot, and it's quite old, but it can work so I have to include it in this video. We are going to try enabling the Windows settings menu with registry editor. Click on the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor. Click on it. In here you want to navigate to the following location. HKEY Current User Software Microsoft Windows Current Version Policies If possible, click on the little drop-down arrow next to Policies and check for a subfolder named Explorer. It's probably not going to exist, so what you want to do is right-click on Policies and select New, followed by a key. Name it Explorer. Once you enter, a key is created under Policies. Right-click in the open space on the right side and select New, DWORD 32-bit value. Name this No Control Panel and hit Enter. Double-click on it to open it to make sure that value data is set to zero. After doing this, you need to reboot your PC. I hope that you got the working settings menu once more. If not, you can continue with the next method. So there's one more thing to try. There's a big chance that this works, but it takes a bit more time than the previous methods. Through the following link, you can download and install the latest updates for Windows 10. You can get this from the description as well. Click on Update Now to continue. By doing so, you are downloading the upgrade installer. Once you open it, you get a standard Windows warning. Click on Yes. If you click on Update Now, Windows 10 is going to install the latest updates. This can take a while. When the installation is done, you can check if the settings menu opens again. If it doesn't open, you can do one more thing on the website we used earlier. This time you need to select the bottom link that says Download Tool Now. 
You can use this to reinstall your Windows 10 installation. Again, you get the standard Windows warning when opening the tool. Click on Yes. Next, you need to accept the license agreement. When that is done, select the top option to upgrade this PC now and click on Next to continue. Once you do this, the Windows 10 file starts downloading. After that, make sure that you select the option to keep your files. Windows 10 is then going to reinstall itself. After this, your settings should be good as new. This concludes our how to fix settings not opening on Windows 10 tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.